currently offline. That is how much money I made today, guys. What is up, guys? Your boy Mike here from Mike's Money Move, guys. And we are back here. We are in the car. We're actually trying to do something different today. We are actually doing Uber Eats today. So we're not doing some couch flipping. I've just been approved to do some Uber Eats um, and some DoorDash. We're going to be trying to do some deliveries here. I'm currently sitting in the car park of, I can't know if you can see, but I'm currently at McDonald's. We are going to be trying to see if we can get some deliveries and do my very first delivery. I'm um, going pretty much show you guys everything on sort of how it sort of works. I'm actually here to get a coffee at Macca's just to start myself off. $2 on the Macca's app, you know about us. We're all about them deals. So we're going to go off there. We're going to be trying to see if we can actually get this sorted. Um, once we do get the coffee, I'm hoping an order is going to be picked up as soon as I'm here. Uh, but then we're going to see how we go. I'm going to be trying this out. It's all weekend. Um, I might be doing maybe one or a couple of trips just to try it out to see how we go. Um, and if I get a little bit comfortable with it, if I get in a nice little... Um, a little rhythm I might continue doing it but I just wanted to try it out to show you guys exactly how it works and how it sort of feels uh, if you guys are beginning and starting to do this as well so I'll see you guys soon thank you alright guys after about two minutes worth of waiting and jumping in and out of DoorDash as well I got my first delivery so I finally got in there. It was a little bit of a weird one to start off with. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I didn't know what to expect, but lucky I had a, had a gears of the other Uber Eats drivers to see what they were doing. But basically, I'm on my way to deliver my first one. Right here. All right, so we've got some nuggets. We've got some drinks. Everything in there as well. Uh, i got to pick up for this one here. So this is for Anna, which lives about 17 minutes away. Uh, Six dollars or so for me. But um, Anna, I'm coming for you. Your food's coming in ready hot. I'm coming soon. Alright guys, so it's been two minutes from the first delivery, everything all good, all sweet and easy to go. Within one minute of getting in my car, I got another delivery, pretty much ready to go. And I had another one in the same area, wanted to do a double delivery. So I didn't know what to do, if so I just picked up in it anyway. So I'm going to be doing two deliveries in one, we'll see how this next one goes. All within a span of like five minutes, see how we go. So guys, I am... Pretty much near, very, pretty much very near where I currently live at the moment. So I'm not too far away from home. Pretty much, it's been. I've just had a look at it. I finished off three deliveries so far within my very, very first trip of doing this. So far, it hasn't been too bad to be honest with you. All deliveries have been roughly about five kilometers or so within the range um, of each pickup and delivery sort of spot. Isn't too far, which isn't too bad. I've just had a look at the analytics of my three deliveries that I've done today. So guys. So let me just show you guys exactly what it is. I'll pull it up right here. This is a screenshot showing you guys exactly what is going on. So if you guys have a quick look, it shows you here. I've been online for about 55 minutes or so from start to finish. Um, it doesn't mean I've actually been working for 55 minutes, but obviously it's waiting for deliveries. Um, to be honest with you guys so far in my experience, not much of a wait time to be honest with you since my very first delivery. Once I sort of made that first one, the ball sort of got rolling. Um, it's obviously going to differ depending on the days as well. It is a Sunday for me at the moment, so a Sundays are usually a pretty casual sort of day. It is sort of pandemic sort of period, so a lot of people are at home and they still want to eat all of the food that they want. So that does going to make uh, that does make a difference for a lot of people as well. Um, the area that I currently live in as well has quite a few apartment unit type of places. It is quite an area where it is quite young and people are willing to pay for delivery. So that is another one as well, guys. But as you guys can see, 55 minutes. I've made roughly about $24 or so. Um, I don't, I still don't, I'm still not too sure how things sort of work, but having a look, you can sort of pick and choose which ones you want. Um, and it sort of has worked out so far, it goes, but having a look at this, about 24 bucks an hour, yeah, slightly less um, time frame, which is pretty good to be honest with you guys. I'm um, considering, I'm still yet to try obviously a weekday and I'm still yet to try another app like uh, Menu Log or like DoorDash. Um, a lot of mixed reviews so far, but I'm gonna give you guys my personal review, no fluff. Um, straight facts, uh, but I'll show you guys pretty much there. But so far, so good, guys. About an hour's work, twenty-four dollars. So if you can continue this, if it stays sort of this rate, sort of this um, busy sort of period, it might be worthwhile doing it as a full time as well. So, but I'll keep you guys updated. Couch flipping isn't finished yet, so I'm still doing that. But um, I'll see what I can do by the end of the day. But I'll let you guys know. Cheers. What is up, guys? Your boy Mike, back here from Mike's Money Move, guys. It is finally over. Um, I have finished my shift. Um, I actually ended up doing this a lot longer than I thought. I actually thought I was going to go this just for an hour or two, but it honestly was a lot better than I thought, to be honest with you guys. So, 
just to give you guys an update, um, just what obviously what I've been doing, obviously Uber Eats, as you guys would have saw at the beginning. Um, and you know what? Since my first delivery, it's been non-stop, which is really, really good. Um, I've had constant deliveries one by one by one. So as soon as I delivered one, I delivered another one. And then once that was done, another one popped up on the way. Um, so the good thing is it was very consistent, which I was very, very surprised with. So it definitely worked in my favor, which is really, really good. So one thing I did notice though, obviously being a very peak period. So at the moment, it is currently about 7, 7.30 p.m. Um, I was delivering between 3.30 to about 7.30. So basically, I was working for about four hours or so, so far. Um, but obviously, during this period is pretty much the peak period of where you can make most of your money. So if you guys are looking to obviously make as much money as you can, those are the peak periods because dinner time is when people order the most. Um, obviously, during lunchtime hours, so about that 12 to 2 o'clock sort of range, there will be people out there who want to get stuff delivered, but you're going to get more consistent stuff uh, when it comes to obviously the dinner time as well. But look, let's not keep talking. Let me show you, jump into my phone, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how much I made today in a span of about four hours or so. And I'll show you one last final thing at the end as well, guys. So I'll show you guys now. All right, guys, I'm going to jump straight in. As you guys can see, um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what's pretty much going on. So I'm currently offline. That is how much money I made today, guys. $114.47, uh, which I have just seen just now as well. So I've made 15 trips by the look of things. Let's jump in and see the summary. So let's have a quick look. I don't know if that's all day. Yep, it is. So today is Wednesday, 28th. Um, as you guys can see, I've made $114.47. Online time, guys, was four hours, uh, not even four hours, three hours and 53 minutes. Um, 10 trips were made. Hey, I, I got a 10% tip, which is cool. Average tip about $4, which is sweet. Um, but again, guys, the earning was $114. So if you work this out, say a four hour period, about 115 bucks, that's 25 to $30 an hour, which is pretty good, guys, to be honest. This is only my second day as well. Keep that in mind, guys. It's only my second day doing this, so let's have a quick look to see. So someone tipped me $4 and one. Um, see earning activities. Look, this is the first time I'm sort of using this app, which is cool um, to give you guys an idea. And these are all the deliveries that pretty much were made. Guys, I went from one area to another area to another area. So let me break this sort of down for you guys just to show you guys exactly where I sort of went. So this one was Liverpool. The first one here, the last one, Liverpool to Liverpool. This one was Lansville to Liverpool. This one was Liverpool to Chipping Norton. Then you've got the next one, which is Liverpool to Liverpool. Then you've got Hoxton Park, Liverpool to Ashcroft. And then you've got um, Endenza Park to, what is this? Sydney, Sadler, wherever that is. Wakeley sort of area. Then you've got Bonnerig to Bonnerig. Then you've got Bonnerig to Bonnerig. And then Fairfield West to Bonnerig. Um, and then you've got Fairfield to Cabramatta as well guys so just to show you guys I'm obviously not all in one area I'm all in different areas throughout the whole day which is pretty cool um, but that was obviously a little summary just to show you guys how these sort of trips are um, let's have a quick look so look at the last trip was only two kilometers then you've got 13 then you got three two eight ten 1.4 2.2 8.1 7.6 so they can vary so if you guys can see here the 7.6 one was actually eleven dollars or so um, in terms of a trip uh, this one eight kilometers was about 14 so very similar um, in terms of amount so this 2.2 kilometers only paid me six dollars but if you guys have a look that's almost half of what the first one was which was 7.6 in terms of money so with this 2.2 kilometer one guys I pretty much made half of what the 7.6 kilometer one was but I worked five kilometers less in terms of travel distance so it can obviously depend. If you guys can get shorter distances, you will make a lot more money in a shorter period of time. But um, even in this one here, 1.4 kilometers, I made $6 something as well. So again, it's going to depend on obviously the business, um, how much obviously they're charging and how much we're getting paid on the Uber side of things. But to give you guys an idea, that is a pretty solid day. I'll be honest, I was expecting more on the lower end of the 20 side. But having earned this much within this sort of time, it was great. So it was very consistent. And just before I finished as well, I even had um, three orders pop up that I canceled. But as soon as I didn't accept those orders, they put me offline because they pretty much saw that I wasn't taking any more orders, guys. So that is not a bad day to be completely honest with you guys. 15 trips completed. I think that's in general 
Um, $118 plus the tip that I got today, which is pretty damn good to be honest with you guys. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I thought I'd just show you guys that. Just so you know, there's no fluff, all real numbers. Guys, you would have seen that as well, guys. I showed you guys the real numbers, no fluff, no bullshit. It was all real numbers, guys. $115 almost in a period of four hours, less than four hours. So it's almost about $25, $30, which is great. It is a Wednesday, which is very surprisingly. So you could imagine what Saturdays and Sundays would be. It'd be completely crazy. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I, I thought I was going to be a little bit burnt out. But once the momentum sort of kept going, honestly, it was pretty good, to be honest with you guys. Um, I honestly could do a little bit more, but I've actually picked up a job tonight. I've actually got a mattress that I'm selling at the moment. I've got my IKEA Hasflow mattress that I've been wanting to sell for a little while. That's getting picked up today. Uh, it was a lovely lady who messaged me, basically said that she had a friend that was pretty much on the verge of homelessness and they need a mattress to sleep on. She pretty much paid ID'd me, paid me the money straight away. She said, just make sure you deliver it to them. It is a little bit out of my area, I'll be honest with you guys, but for what she's pretty much doing for her friend, I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll help him out as well. It's a great deed that she's doing, so I just thought I'd do that as a one-off for them as well, which is great. Um, but yeah, that's that one as well, guys, so hopefully I'll finish off with that. If it wasn't for that, I would have kept going a couple of more hours, guys, but I just want to show you guys that there can be money to be made with doing this, so it's definitely worthwhile. Um, but again, it's going to depend on the area. If it's a quiet area, you're not going to be making that much. If it's a more busy area, definitely would go to a busy area if you can. Um, I know some of you guys can't go out of your local area, but if you can go to one that's very close to find out, definitely a good way to do that, guys. If you want me to make a short video on how to find out what areas are busy, let me know in the comments below, um, and I can do that for you guys as well. But guys, that's pretty much it. Um, oh. I forgot to just let you guys know as well, that last delivery that I made, I think there was a $7 delivery. It actually had the best, honestly, the best delivery I've made so far. It was hilarious. Um, it was a Macca's delivery, if you guys didn't see before as well, guys. It was a huge bag. Um, and it was the funniest delivery. I honestly thought it was a prank. I honestly thought it was a YouTube video or something like that. But this, guys, I'm going to put it up here, is what I delivered as a final delivery for the day guys it was a packet sachet of tomato sauce tomato ketchup tomato sauce whatever you want to call it that was my last delivery it was a two kilometer sort of range yeah so it was a two kilometer sort of range and it was a seven dollar delivery which was amazing um i went to the guy i went up to his apartment gave it to him he looked at me he just turned away and he just walked straight in so Either his kids maybe had pressed it for fun, he really wanted tomato sauce for some kinky stuff, I don't know. But I don't care because it was a couple bucks worth. Even the Macca's workers were laughing as well. They said he could have just came in for free ketchup if he really wanted it. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe as well, guys. I'm going to be trying out all different kinds of journey, guys. If you don't know about what I'm doing, I'm here to talk about making money, about saving money. And I'm about to show you every single way that I can. But don't forget... The end of the day, you do you, and you do what makes you happy, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!